Hello everybody, Rudy Foodie here, and I'm coming at you with an update video pertaining to my new account that I made for Azelaine. I made this account just so I could get the perspective of what it's like for a new player to jump into the game in 2024. And right now there is an event. This is the first event that has dropped since I started this account. So this is a pretty good way to, to give advice to new players who might be unsure of how to tackle an event. So uh, with a new event comes with event stages and characters you can get for a limited time. You definitely do want to try to sweep the banner. And yeah, and but you don't also want to uh, go too hard and lose all your cubes like you want to do so to spend as little cubes as possible. So I'm going to get into that in a little bit. So yeah, I think the first thing I should go over is what progress have I made with the event maps? Because again, this account was probably like a week old. Like I've only been playing consistently for about a week. So I've only gone as far as uh, up. I've reached 5-4. I haven't completed it, haven't cleared it yet. Uh, I was kind of hoping to be at the end of 6-4 and be able to comfortably grind that, but I just didn't have time to spend on the game. So because of that, I have only gone as far as SP5. In my main account, I real I found out that the SP5 is around level 77 as far as the enemies go. And because of that, I don't think I'd be able to clear... Uh, SP5, I probably, I, I, so because of that, I am focusing on getting all of these to threat level safe. So it's just kind of grinding and clearing the easier stages first. And then I plan to tackle SP5 eventually. So yeah, that, and uh, you definitely do not want to ignore the event stages because there are some useful things in the event story, which I'll go over in a bit. Uh, the next uh, screen is uh, sort of a boss rush. Uh, you just fight all the girls on the banner individually. The way this event, uh, like the event stages are kind of laid out are very unique for this event. They usually have like maybe three or four and then another four. And then another four and four. <laughs> Hope that makes sense. They don't have this one screen of five stages and then a boss rush and then the special. They usually don't do that. Uh, so this is pretty unique. But because of that, uh, this is how I think the progress should look like if you're a fairly new player. I will be doing an update on the, how I'm doing with this event later on for now this is what i got so far hopefully i should have this cleared and i should have uh bought in everything i want from the event store but we're going to take a look at the event store to see what should you prioritize as a new player so of course you definitely i'm probably going to pick this up right now i hear this uh i think it's an auxiliary equipment i hear it's very useful so definitely want to pick that up Every time there is an event, I always like to pick up cognitive chips, both the light blue and the dark blue, the cognitive array chips. And then right after that, I like to pick up uh, the blueprints, both of them. Uh, and uh, then everything else is kind of based on what I need. Uh, right now though, uh, I will say, if you are not able to, uh, like, grind as far as I can and will be able to do so during the duration of the event, definitely uh, prioritize getting Prince Organ. Like, at least having enough at the end of the event to buy Prince Organ because uh, C is not right up in the uh, event banner. So... It's not entirely a guarantee that you'll be able to pick her up from the banner, so you can at least guarantee picking her up in the store. So you definitely do want to pick her up, especially if you're a new player. So play your events throughout the duration of the event so you could accumulate the event currency so you could buy her at least near the end of the event. 
So yeah, that's my advice. Um, if also, if you're a brand new player, buying the tech boxes is also a worthwhile investment because as a new player, gear is the big hurdle you have to go over to actually make progress in the story. Uh, I found in my earlier time with this account is that I kind of got stopped even at World 2 or Chapter 2 be just because I didn't have decent gear. So I grinded uh, Chapter 1, got a couple of blue gears, and then I was able to clear Chapter 2 pretty easily. So because of that, yeah, getting good equipment is going to help you quite a bit. Okay. Uh, yeah, other than that, everything else is kind of like as you need it. I think the cat boxes are also probably like the least priority items to get in an event shop. That's just my opinion. But yeah, let's go on to uh, event pulls because I have been saving my event pulls on this account. I have my pulls on my main account up on the channel if you want to check that out. Uh, but for now, let's take a look at what I've pulled for the past few days see if we could get any of the banner ladies so far no dice portland oh i could use that portland to retrofit her uh, okay oh nice we got boys muse that is a very welcome addition to the dock and i think that's it yeah yeah that those are my polls from the past few days let's do two polls just to round out the three pulls I need for the day. And that's it. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. We, at least we got one of the event ships from this event. Uh, from those uh, few pulls. But yeah. So my advice to new players is to just do your three daily pulls during the duration of the event. And then go a little bit further on the last day. So you can try to get all of the ship girls i will probably go up until like my cube count goes down to 50. i think that's where i will go um if i don't sweep the banner beforehand but that's just me uh <laughs> uh but yeah uh that's that's how my pulls went and that's how what i would advise for new players to approach pulling for this event what else did I mention? Uh, I should also mention uh, the guild. Uh, I made a previous video earlier this week talking about how useful the guild is. And I have uh, Rudy Fruity Guild 1 that is open for 13 more people. If you want to join a guild, if you need to join a guild to get those free 3000 uh, guild tokens that are very helpful, I would advise joining the guild. Just let me know you're from YouTube. Just say, from YouTube in your application and I'll be able to accept you. Again, there is limited space in the guild. So first come, first serve. Yeah, uh, is that. Other than that, I think that's it. Like the video if you found any of this helpful. Subscribe if you're new here as that's the best way to help out the channel. Thank you to the members who support the channel. I also have a podcast link to that in the description. I really welcomed I would really appreciate it if you could check it out. And yeah, I really appreciate you watching this far and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care.